Hey guys, this is Mega Man NG, and today we are continuing on with Kingdom Hearts Month. Before we begin, I would like to give out a shout out to a fellow YouTuber who is also a Kingdom Hearts fan. His name is Monochromium. You can find the link to his channel in the description. He will also be streaming Kingdom Hearts, and I will be there. And I make sh and I want to make sure that you all do the same as well. Sorry about that. I've been a bit fibby with my lines, but hey, when you try to commentate, it's the breaks. Anyway, as I will progress in this new world, I figure I have a lot to talk about now. So, let's get to it. For starters, before I did all this, I had to do a previous recording of Olympus Coliseum, which is the next world I'm visiting, and the result was a bit very... Yeah, very bad. It sucked. I mean, you got your... I got my butt kicked like three, four times, and even the end was just horrendous. It was just failure after failure. And now I begin to question myself, why the heck did I talk expert mode to begin with? I mean, seriously, I only did it because I only wanted a challenge. Most people would rather do it on normal, but nah, that's not for me. I wanted a real challenge, so I thought if I did it in expert, it would be better. But I decided to add an even better handicap. Better? More of a harder handicap. The handicap is that I would choose the shield instead of the sword. Now, why would I? Because, as you all know, the basic idea. Defense is the best offense. Which is true. Well, not really. Defense is the best offense, and offense is the best defense. So it basically contradicts itself. Yeah, it's pretty lame that I would choose the shield over the sword, but I made my choice, and I'm, I'm going to stick with it, believe me. So anyway, throughout the past week, recently, over the weekend, I did the Misadventures of Tron Bon on behalf of the 100,000 Strong. You can find it on my channel if you're curious, and yes, I will be doing more of these missions as the, game pro as the days progress. Now, there are some good news, and I got bad news. The good news is, is that I got Kingdom Hearts 3D. Well, I pre-ordered it, actually, but here's the bad news. The GameStop where I live, which is at Jerome Avenue, they stopped taking pre-orders for the Collector's Edition. I'm like, what the? What? That's not fair. I mean, seriously. I mean, I really wanted to get my hands on it, but it sucks that I'm not going to get the Collector's Edition. I hope you guys don't get angry at me because of this, because I really don't want to see, like... Like, all these bash and all that crap. Anyway, I'm passing through most of the level. Yeah, it's not that big, and we're about to reach the next world. Uh-oh. And I just got myself some new blueprints for a new ship. And we've arrived at Olympus Coliseum, which is basically the smallest world in the entire game. Without further ado, let's disembark. We have arrived at Olympus Coliseum. This world is based off the 1998 film Hercules. Hercules foretells the story of how a demigod, which he started off as a god. His name is Hercules. He started off as a god, but then lost his immortality, lived a normal life, and saved all of Greece from the evil Hades, who is the main antagonist of the film. In my opinion, it was a very good film, and I really liked it. Not to mention, the music can be pretty catchy. Although my one complaint with this matter is that Hercules better not mess with the God of War Kratos. <laughs> the battle would be purely... yeah. But let's compare between the two. Kratos is a character in the God of War series who's dealt with betrayal, revenge, and all that yada yada stuff. But however, I feel that deep within all that hatred and sorrow, there's like a part of him that made him feel human. Well, it's because of his family, and because he murdered his family, it led him to a path of revenge. It's like what Linkara always said in his Cry for Justice review. Justice? No, revenge. Revenge is the most worthless of all causes. And he is quite right. And I hate that comic. Anyway, after we went through some Trinity things, and there's a white one, but we will get to it later, we had her inside the, the Coliseum itself in the lobby. So, let's check it out. Oh, who's that? Um... Good timing. Give me a hand, will you? Move that pedestal over there for me. I gotta spruce this place up for the games. You want me to s move this? Seriously, Philoctetes? Come on, man. 
Oh, Phil Atiti sounds a pretty lousy name. I'm just gonna call him Phil. I think it was much better that way in the movie and in the cartoon. I actually like the cartoon. We find that it weighs a ton and we have to go back to talk to him. And hey, a save point, but we won't be saving until much later. It's way too heavy. What? Too heavy? Since when have you been such a little... Oh, wrong guy. What are you doing here? This here is the world famous Coliseum, heroes only. And I got my hands full preparing for the games, so run along, pipsqueaks. Look, it's like this. Heroes are coming from all over to fight ferocious monsters right here in the Coliseum. You got heroes standing right in front of you. Yup, he's a real hero chosen by the Keyblade. And we're heroes too. Hero? That runt? <laughs> What's so funny? I fought a bunch of monsters. <laughs> hey, if you can't even move this, you can't call yourself the hero. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so it takes more than brawn. Well, well, let's see what you can do. So after that hilarious cutscene, Phil gives us the honor to actually take part in the trials. Trials are not that hard, so I'm just gonna explain to you in detail. What basically is, is like a time limit game. You need to de destroy a lot of these barrels within the time limit. Pretty simple, right? Well, let me show you. Well, it's not so hard, really. You just need to time your right attacks in order to do it. Also, as I do this, I figure I have a little discussion. Yeah, I had to do it, but I need something to keep myself busy so I don't, like, bore you guys to death. So, anyway, I hope y'all are enjoying Kingdom Hearts mod. I mean, I'm doing this with commentary because, as you know, I'm trying really, really hard to be just as successful as the other, like, pros around here. And if I don't... Ah, you gotta be kidding. I didn't make it? Let's try this again. As I was saying before I lost my first thing, uh, yeah, I screwed up, so sorry, me. I basically want to be just as good as, like, all the other popular YouTubers who do commentary. Now, don't get me wrong. I got respect for many of them. Hell, I even sub them because they're just really good. I just keep asking myself, how do they do it? Most times, they're gonna tell me that because I work hard, you persist, and you prevail prevail my foot, especially since you spent six years in a place like this. Yeah, I'm gonna rant on about this BS, but I have a right to express how I feel. Phil says that it's not bad for a beginner and we get to try the second trial. Now the second trial is just as hard as the first. The only difference, you have about a minute to destroy 25 barrels. Now here's the thing, if you like attack one of the barrels, you can have the third hit, launch the barrel at another barrel for added points. Very useful and I consider to be a recommendation should anyone even try something like this. Of course, it's gonna take you many tries if you don't know what you're doing, but if you persevere, you'll do fine. Now, uh, I'm gonna keep doing what I love to do best. I ain't gonna be stopped. I still have Pokemon Black 2 to do, and so far, I'm already at the 8th and last gym leader. Now, I'll explain that later on in like a channel update, because I figured I would get your attention this way. So, anyway, okay, we got one more. We only have about 20 seconds, so we gotta move fast. If I don't do that, I don't like, if I f fuck this up, I have to do it all over again. I don't want to do that. That's gonna suck. No! Only got eight seconds. Okay. Yes! Made it! And that's it. Well, at least I'm doing better than you, Philoctetes. You couldn't even lift that boulder. You know, you ain't bad, kid. Haha, <laughs> looks like I'm headed for the games. Afraid not. Why not? Two words. You guys ain't heroes. Come on. 
two words? Make that four words, bub. Now he gives us the ability to use Thunder, which is another magic spell. One of seven that you get in this game. So much. So after dealing with this chump, we leave. And then this happens. Ah, rather a stubborn old goat, wouldn't you say? Who are you? <laughs> oh, hey, hold on there, Fuzzboy. Oh, wait, let me guess. You want to enter the games, right? Well then, hey, get a load of this. A pass? It's all yours. Good luck, kid. I'm pulling for you, little shorty. Okay, what just happened? Did Haiti just came in and gave us an entry pass? That's not like him at all. What's he planning? So anyway, after that cutscene, we head back into the lobby and talk to Phil. Phil's pretty shocked to find out that you actually have a pass. Sora says that we want a chance for the games. So Phil says that we have to do the preliminaries first. So, but he warns us that there are some weird freaks taking part in the game, so we better watch our toes. Now, the preliminaries consist of seven battles. Six of these seven battles you have to take on certain Heartless. They range from r Blue Rhapsodies, regular soldiers, etc. At least since I've trained my butt for this, because I had to train off screen, because when I did this previously, I fucked up badly. I'm not kidding, I really fucked up badly. At least with this, I won't, like, die as much. It looks like Donald and Goofy are not doing a better job than me. Ah! Come on, dumb heartless. Move it! Thank you. Gotta help them. Uh-oh, Donald's in trouble. Damn it. Well, at least Goofy's doing the right thing. Before I did all this, I had to stock Goofy up with potions since... Since he packs the shield and a lot more items, he's gonna need it. One down, six to go. And boy, it's not gonna be easy, that's for sure. Anyway, Phil says that we're not doing bad. But luckily, he, we came to him for coaching. Do we really need it? The hell was that? Phil says that this one will be a tough one to beat. But we may end up facing him, so we better watch our toes. Now then, let's move on to the second fight. We have to take on Sinisters, which is 10 Shadows and 3 Blue Rhapsodies. The main strategy here, defeat the Blue Rhapsodies first. They're the bigger threat. But, but if we had, like, other spells or something, we could just take them down easily. But I'm more of a brute force type of guy. Basically having to take the fight to them. Hold on, we got one more. Darn it. Where is he? There you go. Hold on. Uh oh, Donald's in trouble again. No surprise, because he's not too physically intended. So right now we gotta deal with the rest of the shadows and we're good to go. One more. Yes! That takes him down. Nice. Two down, five to go. Match three, heat and freeze. Five red heartless and five blue rhapsodies. It's gonna be a mage fest. But the best strategy here is to use thunder spells to like deal damage on all quarters. You need it because most of your enemies are gonna be packing the heat. But if you really want to be smart, you can just play the reflect game on them and reflect their attacks. But for me, ugh. okay, you wanna play rough? Fine. That's it? Guess the blizzard did its job. Yeah, take that indeed. Looks like Phil wants to talk to us again. He says he wishes he were here to see this. Sora finds out that it's Hercules. He's a hero, but too bad he's off visiting Zeus. Next match is a Shadow Platoon, which is two Shadows, two Soldiers, three Blue Rhapsodies, and two, three of those Red Heartless. There's gonna be like a lot of magic. Ah, I used the Elixir by mistake. I don't care. No, I have another one, so we'll be using that later. The whole point of this fight here is just try to survive. And whatever you do, under any circumstances, do not die. Because if you die, you start all over again. And you don't want to go through that. 
Of course, you can also varietize with hit points and magic. And of course, you can also deflect the Red Heartless's fighting attacks right back. You get tech points this way, and it'll be really helpful if you want to level up. But just don't take too much damage and you're screwed. Well, that takes care of that. We already reached the halfway point, so we're not out of the woods yet. Next up is match five, Blue Revenge. Or you like, you can just launch fire all over the place. Yeah, fire is their weakness. They basically follow a simple strategy with this. Fire is weak against ice. Wait, it's ice. Ice is strong against fire. Fire is strong against ice. And I don't know regarding thunder. I gotta figure that out. So I gotta look it up. But whatever you do, watch out for all these harmless. It's a crazy mess. We only got about two left. And every time you attack Heartless, you like boost up your magic. And they're done. Yep, take that indeed. Only two matches left. That little punk is your next opponent, okay? Now don't blow him, just take him out. The great god of the underworld is afraid of a kid? Sorry, but my contract says- I know! You think I don't know? I wrote the contract! I know it says you're only required to kill Hercules in this tournament. But you gotta fight that kid to get to him! Come on! Hey, it's like that old goat says. Rule number 11. It's all just a game. So let loose and have fun with it! I mean, a casualty or two along the way. It's no big deal, right? <laughs> Jeez. Stiffer than the stiffs back home. Still, suckers like him are hard to come by. <laughs> okay, that was a bit of a surprise. Now we're at the semi-final match. And it looks like we gotta deal with a whole bunch of blue nocturnes, red heartless, and a fat boy. And the fat boy's an even bigger pain. Not to mention since he can reflect most of your attacks. Well, make most of your attacks meaningless, because the only way you can hit him is through the back. Oh, what do you know? I played Reflect with the Red Heartless. Wow. And he's about to fire. And fire this. Uh-oh. Gotta move. Nice. All I gotta do is take down this, this one. That way he won't be that much of a threat. And I gotta deal with this. Now this one, I don't know what it's called, but what I can tell, it's very dangerous. You can't hit him from the front, and the best strategy to use is through the back. And, or if you could just guard it for tech damage, you don't have to worry. And, well, they're doing my job for me. Nice. Ah, crap! It's Cloud! Now, Cloud's a real tough combat. So you're gonna need a lot of work and a lot of patience to persevere against him. You need to attack only when you're able to. Otherwise, you're screwed. Yep. Yeah, most times he'll guard your attacks, so that'll suck. You're gonna have to think strategically on him, or in a sense, be defensive. Uh oh. Nice. Yeah, he has a variety of different attacks. His cross slash, his sonic blade, and a jumping attack, which is dangerous. Though, if you do the guard and counter method, like this, you could just be able to get free hits. See? Pretty simple. And you don't have to suffer much damage for it. Ugh, gotcha. See? You persevere. Though you if you do fight him later on, he'll get harder. Besides, if you know what you're doing, you can take him out easily. Like that. Not to mention you regain MP this way. 
The size will really help big time. Like that. But, when you fight him on later, he gets dangerous. Oh, and I forgot I should tell you some interesting trivia regarding Cloud. Cloud is a character from Final Fantasy VII. He's the main protagonist and an emo. I'm not kidding. He's an emo. Because this guy only cares about his own life and always questions it too. And this guy is done for! DEFEATED! Massive cutscene, we were introduced to Cerberus, Guardian of the Underworld. Too bad Herc's gonna have a hard time dealing with him, not to mention he has to rescue Cloud. Well, if you've beaten Cloud, then that's the result, which is what I've done. I won't say it yet, but it's time for us to keep moving. This ain't just from Ratch, it's real, and we're gonna do this. Kid, I got two words of advice for you. ATTACK! At least he didn't say get up on the Hydra's back. That would have been really bad. Anyway, we are dealing with this boss fight. This is the Cerberus, Guardian of the Underworld. And if I didn't know any better, it reminds me of that Cerberus from that My Little Pony episode, It's About Time. Don't believe me? Watch the episode and I'll see, you'll see what I mean. The Cerberus has a variety of different attacks, and my best suggestion for you is don't get close, because he'll do a bite attack that does major damage. Not to mention, with its three heads, all your party members can be affected, which can be bad for you and bad for your crew. Fortunately, I trained and prepared myself for this occasion, so you don't have to worry. And I gotta say, I did a lot better in Cloud in my previous run. In my previous run, oh shit! Yeah, that was his shockwave attack, so you don't want to get near him when he does it. Now he'll do his next attack, which he'll launch flaming balls at you. You could either be smart and play the reflex game on him, which I'm doing, play tennis, or you can just dodge roll and dodge everything. Also, he has another attack that unleashes a dark breath. When he does his dark breath, small shockwaves will appear from below the ground. Dodge blow to quickly evade. Once he's done, he will continue doing this pattern, and then you can use the reflex game on him which is basically reflecting attacks right back for added damage and extra tech points. Now, uh-oh, he's doing it again? Oh, nuts. Remember, dodge roll to evade. Very important if you want to survive. And now he will continue doing his attacks as usual. But now he's going to be doing his bite attack. Of course, if you want to be smart, oh, nuts. Why did I not attack? There you go, much better. Or I can be smart and use magic. If you have a lot of MP, use magic from a distance. Ah! Come on! That's not fair! Aw, oh, you jerk! Damn it! Alright, now you're gonna get it. This just sucks. Now Donald's dead. Gotta keep my distance. Then I gotta use my last high potion. I didn't really want to do this and- Oh shit! Gotta move, move, move! I don't want to die here! And he's doing his dark breath attack. Remember, dodge roll is your friend! Now he's gonna be doing the repeating strategy, which means one thing, reflect game, which means guard, reflect, guard, reflect, guard, and again. Very useful if you wanna level up quickly. And he's gonna be doing a dark breath attack, again. 
You will repeat this pattern until either you're dead or it's dead. And now he's about to do the reflect game again, which means he will launch flaming fireballs at you. Wait, he's not? Uh-oh, he just wants to sink your fangs at you. Shit. Nice. If you hit him at the right time, you can stun him, which can give you a free hit. Oh, nuts. Nice, I went under. Uh-oh. Miss. Goofy, don't be careless. Mm, now what's he doing? Ah. Nice. Too close. That was too close for comfort. Shockwave. And again. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Thus, I do hereby dub thee Junior Heroes and confer upon thee full rights and privileges to participate in the games. Further... Hey, what do you mean, Junior Heroes? You rookies still don't understand what it takes to be a true hero. So, what does it take? Well, that's just something you'll have to find out for yourselves. Just the way that I did. No problem. We'll start by proving ourselves in the games. There ain't gonna be any games for a while. Gotta clean up the mess from that last battle first. Okay, we'll be back. I still can't believe that Squirt actually beat Cerberus. Just between us, I'd already worn Cerberus down by the time the little guy jumped in. My lips are sealed. And with that, our work is done. We just got our hero license, meaning we can continue competing in the games whenever they come up. Oh, and look who's that. Is that Cloud? Hey, are you all right? Yeah. So, why did you go along with him anyway? I'm looking for someone. Hades promised to help. I tried to exploit the power of darkness, but it backfired. I fell into darkness, and I couldn't find the light. You'll find it. I'm searching too. For your light? Don't lose sight of it. How about a rematch sometime? Fair and square, no dark powers involved. I think I'll pass. And Sora just learned Sonic Blade. Now, Sonic Blade is one of few abilities that Sora can use to deal major damage. Luckily, I have plenty of AP to get my hands on it. Oh, and wait, we also got one other thing. An Inferno Ban. An Inferno Ban reduces fire and dark damage by 25%. I mean, 20%, sorry. And it also raises defense. A very useful ability to have. And with that, our work here is done. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time where we continue Kingdom Hearts Month. This is Mega Man NG, signing off. He's strong. He's kind. He's always there for you. And he's handsome to boot. He's perfect. Perfect. Perfectly infuriating! He makes me crazy! <sighs> Wait a minute.
be worried about. All the pieces are in place. Relax. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here's what you do. Let Hercules train the kid. In the next games, I'll take care of them both. Who invited you to the party? Stay out of this. This is my show. As you wish. Fight to your heart's content. <laughs>